Hi guys, today I want to show you how to improve the graphics on the PCSX2 emulator. This is going to be using the nightly release because I like this user interface better than the stable release. This is assuming you already have the PCSX2 emulator downloaded and installed and already have a couple of games added to your library. The game I'm using to demonstrate is the Tokyo Extreme Racer 3 from the default settings. Most PS2 ROMs nowadays already come with widescreen patches already, so you can simply check a box and enable the patches uh, from the GUI. So to get started, simply load up the emulator and then load up your game. Then go to Settings, Game Properties, and go to the Patches section. If the ROM already contains patches, you will see them listed here. I will enable the widescreen patch by checking the box and the settings are applied in real time. I will also enable no interlacing. Uh, this will stabilize the visuals uh, just a bit. If you don't have these two patches shown here, you can accomplish the same thing by going to the graphics section and enabling them here. If you have a dedicated graphics card, you can use that as the renderer by dropping down this menu and selecting Direct 3D11, OpenGL, Vulkan, or uh, Direct 3D12. Select the one you want and then go to your dedicated graphics card. I tend to stay away from Direct 3D12 because that seems to just crash the game at random times. So that's something to be aware of. Then go to the rendering tab and then change the internal resolution to whichever fits your needs. I have a 4K monitor so I can go all the way up to 4K. Then you can continue to test other settings such as the texture filtering. Change this to forced or PS2 by linear. Uh, you can see the difference between these two by looking at the text. If you look at here, you can see the difference when they are applied. So you can continue to use other settings too, but that's basically the gist of all the settings that I use. So when you make these changes, if some of the settings don't seem to apply, you can usually fix the issue by restarting the ROM, and that usually fixes 99% of the issues. So that's it guys, hopefully this helps, so I'll see you next time.